Okay, I've got a lot to get through today, so I'm gonna go as fast as I can, because so much stuff happened today. First of all, in Japan, there's this thing called a nomikai. A nomikai is when all the teachers get together after some event, and they drink a lot, and they have fun, and then they never talk about it again. Um, apparently, they happen close to every weekend. I have not yet been invited to one yet, and I was getting kind of upset because everyone else, all the other ALTs in Sano have all been to Nomikais, and they've all been to several. A couple of people went to Nomikais before they even met the teachers, so I was like really offended that I hadn't been invited to one. But I got invited to one on the 28th of October, so it's a few weeks away, but I'm really excited that I finally got invited to one. I don't know if it's because, you know, they don't want to invite me because I can't speak Japanese, so they're like, uh, why even bother? Or if it's because they just don't like me as a person. But whatever it is, I was getting upset and I'm glad I'm finally invited to one. Um, okay, so I sort of accidentally named the, the basketball team for the city, like the all-star basketball team. The guy who coaches the all-star basketball team was showed me this the slogan that he wants to use on the t-shirts just to make sure that all spelling was correct. And it was like, all Sano City, all-stars, junior high school, basketball team, select group. And I was like, you're going to put a paragraph on these kids' shirts. So I was like, give me that. That looks stupid. So I changed it, and I, I wrote like a, like a rainbow, like, all star across the top and then wrote Sano in the middle and then right underneath Sano it says selectman so he was like oh that's so good he was really excited that it was down to four words so he was like so we're the Sano selectman and I was like I guess you are so I, I like named the basketball team for the city so I was pretty proud of that um so another instance of kids writing really funny responses. It's that same activity we were doing before, but a different class, where I would say a statement, and then the the students would respond by writing something. <laughs> the statement was, um, y do you want to become a teacher? And the kid responded with, yes, I want to touch children. <laughs> and I was like, mmm, that's, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> so I just sort of like changed touch to like teach. <laughs> I was like, mm, teach children. Good luck with that, kiddo. Um, so today I, I got through so much kanji because I, I had three classes in the morning and then for the last three classes plus after school activities, I had nothing, so I was basically sitting in a seat for four hours. So I got through a lot of kanji. I practiced so much. I was getting really into it. And all of a sudden I looked up and I saw that all the teachers were crowding, crowded around this one spot in the middle of the room. And I was like, what's going on? So I got up and went over there and there was like a kid there with a broken foot. And he was like, ouch, ouch, mm, ah, ite, ite. And I was just like, oh, I wonder how long this kid has been sitting here with a broken appendage. And I have not even noticed. So he was being, um, like, the, the nurse was, like, helping him, but all the teachers were standing there watching him. And he, this kid was seriously, like, six feet away from me, and I had no idea. Um, and then I thought it was kind of cute. The, uh, one of the teachers was like, I'll give him a ride home. And the kid, like, hopped on the teacher's back, and then they just walked away. And I was like, I, I, I feel like I never had that sort of relationship with a teacher where I would like hop on their back and they would give me a ride home. If a teacher ever was like, I'll give you a ride home, I was like, no, I'm just gonna walk, thanks. I'll walk the 17 miles and, and walk home myself. But maybe that's just me. But I, I feel like maybe, maybe that's other people too. <laughs> Perhaps. Um, and so actually that's about it. Um, I just, I found out the other day that my Japanese mom is away on a vacation for an entire month. I was wondering why she wasn't at the school yesterday and they were like, oh, she's away on a vacation for a month. And I was like, oh, so sad. So uh, I'm depressed about that, but I'll, I'll persevere. Uh, I'm gonna, my friend is coming tomorrow, so I have to clean my apartment because my apartment is currently a mess. And I'm excited for the weekend. Yes! 